Right now I have a panel meter set up in series with the front of the battery pack and it's connected to the multimeter and when I close this it will also connect to the coil and back to the battery pack. Now I'm going to test the voltage first. All right. Two hundred eighty eight volts. All right. Now the circuit is open. Turn it to the twenty amp setting. I've got a decimal point. Now set the camera over here. All right, now we're gonna turn on the motor. We'll adjust it, try to reduce some of the current. In percentages of an amp, we have anywhere from 9% to 1% of an amp being drawn according to the digital meter. If it is showing the same thing as the panel meter, it should stay within. Ten percent of one amp, so you should see less than one twentieth, okay, of the mark where it says two amps. But what are you reading? And we'll see if the connections are in the correct polarity. Now instead of just showing you the back of the panel meter, I will install the fan. In order to do that, I will disconnect this circuit first. Okay? All right, now I will hold the rotor in place. Then I will turn on the circuit. The digital multimeter right now says 0.26 amps, 0.26. Now let go, now it's gonna run. 0.26 amps is approximately one fourth of an amp. By hearing the switch, you can judge the RPM of the fan. It's one switch per revolution. So, we're going to show the voltage now. But in order to do this, we don't have to remove the panel meter. This voltage will be whatever voltage the digital meter reads. And we're going to connect it. So and we're going to connect this end to the battery pack. Alright, 
first of all, this is 283 volts at the 1,000 volt setting. That means it measures up to 1,000 volts. The uh, the current XTEC 411 multimeter can measure only up to 600 volts. This is this goes up to 1,000 because I got this a while back. The new 401 multimeter, I mean 411 multimeter, does not go up to 1,000. Now, here I have the connections. The from the battery pack goes in to this the plus side. This plus side over here. The minus side is on this side where this prong is. And if we can see, hopefully, move this over here. All right. There's the plus side on the left and the minus side on the right. There's our meter. All right. Just for kicks, we'll turn this on again. Now it shows up 285 volts. Now, as it speeds up, the current is high, but then it goes down. These are in percentages of an amp, because we have the one hundredths decimal place being shown at the 20 amp setting. 20 amp precision. Okay, clear. All right. To give a sense, to give a sense of the power output, I'm going to put the microphone on this camera next to the fan, about one inch from the fan. At the right, the left. That's the left. The bottom. Top. The left again. All right. The current we're drawing again, according to the digital meter, from 0 0.07 to 0 0.01, 0 0.08. So the digital meter goes up and down. The panel meter picks up that better because. It does show you each time it goes up and down, in contrast to this digital meter. All right. Here is our camera placed over here. And I can take a video of this to sync up the video. All right, I'm going to move this forward. And as you can hear, I sw switched the audio to this smaller camera to give you a sense of what it would sound like if I use the older camera, this older camera over here. Now I can place this over here. Even if I set this here. Okay, so that's it for this Newman motor for now.